somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at Avatar The Last Airbender. This is season one, of course. This is episode four, Into the Dark. And I've been having a lot of fun with this series so far. I like the slight deviations. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like I said before, it's been a, a while since we watched the animated series of Avatar The Last Airbender. And it's been a while since we watched Korra. Now, I know it's not related, but... You'll have to forgive me if every now and then I maybe get my wires crossed a little bit and get my get my stories mixed up. So that's why I got the answer here to help me out. Uh, yeah, a lot of fun. I love the liberties they've taken with the slight changes. I know it's not exactly frame for frame, but that's what I'm kind of digging about this. It's a little bit more mature, but I really love it. But right now, I'm definitely ready, willing, and able because Aang is captured, and I think uh, we get to meet a certain king. We shall see. Look, oh, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I said it before. Um, yep, answer hit the nail on the head. It's not scene for scene. It's not line for line from the animated series. But I am loving it. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy the uh, the uh, the effects that we've had. Loving the casting. So excited for another episode. All right, let's go. Soldiers aren't particularly tolerant, even under the best of circumstances. Oh, <laughs> These are most definitely not the best of circumstances. General Ira. It's good to see you, young Avatar. They capture him too? I hope not. <laughs> we halfway back to his ship by now. Well, we'll see. I'm really starting to see what kind of person he is. Oof. But in my experience, the Earthbenders aren't exactly kind to their fallen foes. <laughs> True. Were you working with the enemy? It's complicated. No, it's not. It's a... <laughs> Firebender said that they would kill us and then they'd attack the city if I didn't cooperate. The only reason Omashu has been left alone is because of whatever small service I provided oh. them. No, 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 just minor designs. Nothing of any value in war. Anything can be turned into a weapon in the wrong hands. No. You know what it means to make hard choices. Your father had to leave your family to go to war, leaving you just, just a boy. We do what we must to survive. We compromise just enough to get by. My father would have never done what you did. Aang's in prison. Oh, he never want to be the guy at the back. Oh, look at that. Ooh. The old getting pulled into the bushes. Do we got the old uh the old uniform swaparoo? It would appear so. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Boy, I like how they just get right into it, you know? You get the intro. Oh, 100 years. Title. Oh, hey, Boomy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Shaping is hard. What are you talking about? Looks exactly like a sky bison. It's supposed to be a badger mole. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the snorting. There's nothing like earth bending mace. No seams. <laughs> Not even the loved ones lost along the way. That's why Zuko's so hot to catch me? So he can win this war for his dad? Zuko's victory lies not in winning the war, but in winning his life back. You could show him this isn't the way. He'll listen to you. He owes you that much. Or will he? It is I who owe him far more than I can ever repay. We're not leaving Aang. You can get us into the palace. Not after today. I'm sorry, I can't. What about the tunnels? Ah. Mm. <laughs> the secret tunnels. Hidden under the mountain. It's said that the founders of the city used them to meet without anyone knowing. A fairy tale. You told me you've seen them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> busted. Not just secret tunnels, secret haunted tunnels? <laughs> An Earth Kingdom labor camp for prisoners of war. No one who's been sent there has ever been heard from again. Oh, oof, rough. Tell them you'll meet him. Then go to the Earth Kingdom journals and let them know they can set a trap to round up these spies. No, 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 no. The Firebenders made it clear. Any resistance and they'll send everything they've got at us. Let them come. The Avatar has returned to the world. It's time to stop hiding. He's being pretty, pretty optimistic. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at those. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, copper. And he's very, very good at rock skipping. <laughs> Umi? Hello, Ang. <laughs> How are you still alive? <laughs> Clean living, the right diet. Ooh, and luck told you to put pine bark in it. You did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there it is. Gonna need that. Yes, she will. <gasps> oh. I stopped you from killing innocent people. Innocent? Spies, traitors, is that who you wanted to save? Not everyone out there is the enemy. If you stand against us? Just like the firebenders. I am nothing like the firebenders. Mm -hmm. Actions speak louder than words. Oh. Oh, oh, gonna freeze him. oh, just froze him. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Power you have. That's because of me. That wasn't you. Nice. <laughs> Sub zero. No, plan zero. <laughs> Sir, I was assigned prisoner transfer duty, but I'm. Well, I'm late, and, and if my commander finds out, I'm already in enough trouble this month. The old firebender was taken to the pit. The other one's still here. Other one? Yeah, the ball kid. The king <laughs> wanted to see him. <laughs> the yeah. ball kid. You're just gonna stand there? What are you gonna do? Oh, what is he gonna do? Go for the ball kid? Are they I'll offer you two choices. They practically jump in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how far away he is. <laughs> they got a, an applause and laugh sign. That's right. You don't. <laughs> so angry about it. And it might happen again, which is why I need to get to the Northern Water Tribe as soon as possible. <laughs> so I can save the waterbenders. Hmm. Let us. <clears throat> This is important. Don't you care? Care? Umi, come on. Have you watched your whole world burn down around you? Mm -hmm. Not these hundred years. Can't make me believe you've lost hope. Not you, Booby. Oh, really? Challenge accepted. I'm oh, I'm conflicted about Boomy here. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, they have a With... totally different direction. Yeah, yeah it's, it's different. Find yourself in darkness. Ah. Are these just supposed to be the hippies they yeah, ran yeah, the song? Right. I was trying to remember, yeah. There's a song. So dig a bit and you <laughs> Come <this> on. <laughs> Rattle. Shake it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 He's just chilling playing the drum. He's loving it. <laughs> it's enough of that. That's all right. So what are you doing here? <laughs> Those all kinds of right. <laughs> we're doing what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing it here? <laughs> Acoustics. <Here>. Acoustics. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If these guys are okay being here, the tunnels probably aren't that bad. How bad could it be? No, these aren't the tunnels. Oh, no. Those are the tunnels. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that looks... <laughs> and, of course, they do that, that camera yep, shot. It does the... Yeah, and the music. Yeah, I want to go in there. <laughs> we don't have a choice. <laughs> we have to find our friend. Well, in that case, you should probably see this. It's a tale of two lovers. Lovers. <gasps> the villages were enemies, so they couldn't be together. But their love was strong, so they found a way. They learned earthbending from the badger. Ah, mm -hmm. the badger moles. <laughs> badger mole crawling. Devastated, Shu wielded her earthbending power to bring the villages to their knees. Hmm. She couldn't destroy them all, but instead, she declared the war over. Both villages helped her build a new city where they would live together in peace. The great city was named Omashi as a monument to their love. Gosh, it's like I remember the hippie guys, but I don't remember the story. I remember the Tale of Two Lovers doing that. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It was their version. He never returns. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Two lovers. It'll be okay. Yeah. There's nothing to be afraid of in there. Right. We're here doing what we're doing. There's angry spirits. Mm. 
Yeah, just go on <laughs> yeah, Qatar. He, go, so you go, go first. <laughs> you go ahead, Oak. You go check it out. Go check out that noise for me, would you? <laughs> we should split up. <laughs> we should split up. <laughs> and cover more ground that That's way. Always a good idea. They're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> now, is there anything I can do to make your journey more comfortable? I'm fine. Thank you. Oh, oh I saw that coming. Come on, don't hesitate to speak up. It's a long ride to the pit. And I've got all the time in the world. Well, from his standpoint, I mean, what the Fire Nation has done. Mm -hmm. You can get it, I guess, but... Ah, oh, look at that! Mm -hmm. What did he think? Wait, what? Oh, well, what do you uh, think he uh, bought in the market? Well, Pai Tao. It's a little oh, game piece. It's leaving a clue. Oh, you want to go north? North is <laughs> not good. <laughs> you mean I should take the route that doesn't? <laughs> oh. Oh, no. It means you should be careful where you stand. Oh. Dooney, what is this? Yeah, what is this? I know what it is. Oh! Maybe I just wanted to play a game, uh, like we did back in the old days. And maybe I just wanted a bite of rock candy. <laughs> it's candy? Yep, remember. Oh, that's right. I was... but, but, he, but instead in the show, he encased yeah, Katara. Yeah, like said, I'm, I'm not totally remembering everything, but which is fine. It makes it fun. No, uh, uh, there it is. There we go. I'm coming, Uncle. <laughs> this way. Is that what the map says? Mm. Maps and clear, but I got a hunch. <laughs> classic, classic Saka. Yeah. Uh, a hunch, it. a feeling, an instinct. You see that? Put out your light. Well, what do you know? Love is brightest in the dark. Get it? It was a clue. You have to let it get dark so you can follow the light. That's how you find the path. The light of crystals? These things are everywhere. Uh... On the floor? They're pretty random. It's a path. It said love is brightest in the dark, not glowy rocks. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not a little girl anymore. Yet you keep acting like one. And you keep Ooh. acting like you know everything when you couldn't even tell that a traitor was flat out lying to you. Says the girl who fell ah. for it. <laughs> yeah, fell for it. You get to just ignore me. I can't if you're being an idiot. Dad put me in charge. You're not dad. E there's the echo. That sounds interesting. Guess we're not in Wolf Cove it's, anymore, are we? Well, sounds like an animal. Maybe a badger. badger. Imagine if Grand Grand could see us now. <laughs> Grand Grand. Well, we could go for some of her seal jerky. Our noodles with the hot bra. We'll get some soon. You really think so? I don't know. I have a little confidence, my man. Seal jerky. Never knew how you could eat them. <laughs> they did a good job with those little guys. The city had to ration fresh water after the first year of the siege. My brother, though, he had a soft heart. He'd gather food and water from his platoon and give them to the children. He was on watch the night you torched the eastern wall. By the time we put the fires out, there was nothing left of him to bury. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's true, isn't it? You have no humanity. You know nothing of loss. Uh, that's well, not true. No. Well, the way Iroh is just sitting there, it's no emotion. Take comfort in knowing that Lutan will forever be hailed as a champion of the Fire Nation. His sacrifice will be enshrined in legend. Oh, man, Ozai. I'm gonna get some more of him. To die in the service of the Fire Nation. When <sighs> my studies weren't going well, he said it should belong to someone destined to do great things. He gave me strength. Luten never needed it because he was the strongest person I knew. That's the old Zuko. Could certainly use him again. You believe that? I don't know, but it was nice to hear someone tell me I had something to offer the world besides my superior fighting skills. <laughs> well, he, I mean, he is skilled. Yeah, he is very. You led the tribe and protected us with nobody to help you. Dad never had to bear that kind of burden alone. You had it harder than him. Well, 
That's not right. Oh, they can be. The crystals were just crystals. Like I thought. I don't think so. This shouldn't be here. We were here before, but this wall wasn't. How is that possible? It's not. Unless the tunnels, tunnels are, are changing. changing. Oh, they teased us. I'm just, I'm waiting for the reveal. A true test of whether or not you are prepared to be the Avatar. All these challenges, games, tests, none that make any sense. Nothing has made sense in a hundred years. This isn't who you are. I believe that kid is still in there. Who cares about responsibility? Who cares about, oh, saving the world? No. Goof off. Am I right? Let's play one final game. Never like it when somebody says, let's play a game. I just don't Time like it. Time to play the game. Don't like it. <laughs> Oh. As promised, final game to play, Avatar. The simplest one of all. You versus me. Ah, remember yeah. the cartoon? He was all ripped up, but... Eh. This is crazy. How can tunnels change? I knew the crystals were wrong. Would you I told you so later? There you go. Finally. It kept me waiting. See my guys here. Oh, 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 oh. oh, they look badass too. Wow, they did a good job with those things. Yeah. Oh, Whoa, that, that was cool. That spin kick. Oh, back to back. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Remember his connection to the ground. Yep. Do it! Come on, do it now! <laughs> Come on! No. Thank you. Seen enough. Oh! Hopefully. Showing an earthbender compassion. Okay. Oh, Ooh, Just that was yanked it out. That yeah. was pretty deep too. Use your firebending. To I think no, you should no time. Firebending cauterized trick. Uh, that was not an oblique shot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I know I shouldn't be cheering for him, but well, yeah, you know. Just splashes <laughs> it. <laughs> like a cat with a cat. spray <laughs> <bar>. <laughs> What's going on? Are we dead? <laughs> Love is brightest in the dark. Uh, That's not what guided Oma and Shu through the mountain. <laughs> Remember, they're blind. That's right. How do you think they do with verbal commands? Uh, excuse me, Mr. Badgermole. We'd really appreciate it if you could show us the way to the palace, please. <laughs> Oh, we can see him in action. Oh, look All right. Look at that thing go. Come on, Aang. Nah. Oh. Please, Boomy, you don't have to do this. Oh, but I do. Some of us have to fight even when we don't want to. That's what it means to be in a war. Oh, got oh. him. You'd have known about that if you'd been around. But you weren't. You left us. Well, not his fault. Your friends. <laughs> well, I say, I hope he had a plan for that. <laughs> quick hit him with the old quicksand. Quicksand was the mortal enemy of every kid that watched cartoons back mm -hmm. in the 80s. Mm -hmm. Thought it was going to be everywhere. Yep. Well, as fun as this has been, it's time for the games to end. Ooh. Whoa, that is a large piece of rock he just caught yeah. there. Yeah, congratulations, you just ruined the structural integrity of, of the entire building. He just, he, he just chuckles and laughs. I can't hold both of them. Help me. Let it fall. And you win. Ruby, this isn't a game. Yes, it is. 
make impossible choices. Do I save this town or that? Who gets the last of the food scraps, the orphanage or the soldiers? You have to make choices. Hmm. Then the world is doomed. Wow. Soccer, get the king! Ah, see, you didn't count on that. Oh! Yeah, you can you can do both if you have friends. Well, kid, you sure know how to bring the house down. <laughs> Cheater! <laughs> you didn't do it on your own, so you didn't learn anything at all. Well, you can rely on your friends, and that's the only way I'm gonna save the world with my friends. You think like a child. Huh. Yeah. Remember uh, this? Still got it. I use it to call a friend. That's what I'm gonna do now. Aye. Call on an old friend. You're right. I wasn't here for the world. More for you. Huh. But I'm here now. Uh, finally getting through to him. Come on, there's one thing you gotta do <laughs> though. Come on. <laughs> You've doubled the guards on the walls? Yes, your highness. Good. Tell them I'll be there soon. Wait, what's going on? Fire Nation forces are on the move. They'll be here by dawn. You're under attack? We will be, but we will be ready. Fortunately, a source tipped us off. That a boy. Ah, uh, see? Alerted the generals to a network of spies in the city. Helped us round them up. Now, all of you, get out of here. The mechanist. He says he has to be. We can take care of ourselves. It's time to watch you rejoin the war. Oh, uh, but I do have. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yes! And yes! I was waiting for it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yes! I did it. Oh, they hit it. <laughs> I can't believe they did it. <laughs> they teased us for a while. Well, now we're uh, we're getting treated. Yep. It seems we are always getting on or off boats. Perhaps that is our lot in life, Prince Ugo. Ooh. Oh, they're getting ready. Oh, is this Ooh, a we'll flashback? Flashback. Good. It's not too late. What are you doing here, Uncle? Same as you, getting ready to embark on what is sure to be a memorable journey. <laughs> you want to come with me? I've come fully prepared. All the tea I need. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a babysitter. How about a friend? I knew it was coming. It's a good line. My father made it very clear that I'm not to return until I find the Avatar. Could be a very long time before we return home. Mm -hmm. Everything I need is on this boat. <laughs> like I said, all the tea I need. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. What is it, Zuko? Nothing. Let's get you home. Uh. Oh, oh, Suko made his choice. Yeah. Well, answer. You are the, uh, I guess I'd say the OG fan of, uh, oh, of yeah. Avatar. So why don't you go ahead and uh, kick us off with your thoughts? Well, a totally different direction that they went with with Boomy. I mean, so you know, I imagine that's going to be that, that's going to be the polarizing, very polarizing. Like, like I liked it, but I didn't like it because I really appreciated that he didn't know who it was at first when he first met him in the cartoon. I loved the challenges and that it was a race against the clock to get Katara and Sokka, you know, out of the rock candy, which you know we found out at the end. And then that at the end, the last riddle is, who am I? And then that's when Aang finally, you know, figures it out. Yeah. But what they, the reason why though they change it, I see why is because they had. To, you know, remember there was 22 episodes, I think, the first season. So they had different quests. So 
that whole, you know, with the badger moles, that was a whole separate episode. Right. So here they merged, you know, two episodes into one. So they made Boomy just a totally different, you know, character because, you know, he was trying to do the whole, you know, he'd been gone a hundred years and who better to tell him that than a childhood friend. Hey, you were gone this whole time. We needed you this whole time. I've been doing the same thing day in and day out every day. Like it really hit home where he was like, the choice. who the, choice. the choices, you know, what rations do you give it to the <laughs> orphanage or do you give it to the soldiers? You know, what do you do? And that also tied in then with the uh the earth kingdom uh guard who was like you know we had to ration our fresh water for the first year after the siege his brother passed away so it was all tying into this this hundred year war that's been going on that it's been no good for anybody mm -hmm. and the whole time could have been stopped obviously by ang but you know he was encapsulated in ice for a hundred years <laughs> He's still, a, you know, a 10 year old boy and yeah. stuff like that. So that's where this episode like kind of skewed off of the venture pass, but they got it back to me in the end when they had it, they had their race down, down, <laughs> down, the, the, one down the side. Oh, I was that so was, happy for it. the redemption. And then it was amazing <laughs> that they even did the Faro thing where it, when you saw the big crash, just like in the cartoon and then my cabbages. <laughs> so yeah, I really, I like, Yes, they've taken a different tone and to totally different direction, but I re I did appreciate it. I still still love this show. Still love the way they did with it. Um, and I know the actor that they had playing Boomy, so I was like, I thought he would be a little more comedic than what he was because he has been in Ooh, other roles. Yeah, um, you would know him from Free Guy. He was uh, one of the he was one of the main guys. Uh, when I show you the picture, okay. I can't think uh, of his name. When you see the picture, you'll know who okay, he is, sure. especially yeah. from free guy and yeah i was expecting a little more humor out of them but i like the call back to the rock candy i like the call back to the hippies and the mountain that was nice so yeah. it was they're getting in the little touches and the mm -hmm. badger mole you know he's blind so he goes on feeling and then obviously Saka helps out and then they proved at the end that it's going to be a team effort as you know we all know from the show it's a yeah. team effort to take care of and save the world, so to speak, that it shouldn't just all be on the Avatar. I mean, it will be eventually, but now that he's 10, it takes it takes a village, yeah. right? You know, and you we saw, learn. like, he's still got to learn. Because right now, he's still air, and did he do even a little bit of water yet? No. no. So he's that's why he's got to get to the water trip. Yeah, and we're on quick. episode four, and he's, of still, eight. Of, and he's still only done airbending. Uh, a couple of the Other highlights. Other than the Avatar state. Yeah, yes. yeah, other than the Avatar state. A couple of the highlights for me were, of course, the Badger Moles. I loved them in the cartoon, and I was I was wondering how they were going to do it here. They've done a really good job with all the fictional creatures that are in here, whether it was the ostrich-type, buck-beak-looking uh, uh, birds they had pulling the carts. And the badger moles I thought were done really well. That's always kind of the risk you take sometimes when you're creating supernatural-type creatures, as uh, I think we saw in Underworld, we kind of mentioned it, some mm -hmm. of the werewolves. The transitions didn't exactly look great. Uh, now, that's a whole other <laughs> story, given the budget and that sort of thing. But, you know, it can be tricky. We saw with Rings of Power that the wargs didn't exactly look that great. And on here, I thought so far, up to episode four, they've done a really good job with the creatures and the special effects. So that was a highlight for me. I'm really enjoying the character arcs. Now, I know, as you said, Andrew, it's not happening as drawn out and maybe as in detail as what the cartoon series was. But, mm -hmm. like, look, we've got eight episodes. I really liked the kind of heart-to-heart -heart that Katara and uh, and Sokka had in the, in, in the, in the tunnels. I thought that was a really good arc for her and, and for him as well, but mm -hmm. more so for Katara because I thought that... Not that she was lacking in any of these episodes, but I was really waiting for her to kind of find her way. Again, only eight episodes. I wanted to kind of find her way with the water bending, and you know, Jet did push her in the right direction, as maybe misguided as his intentions probably were. So she those won't. were some of the the highlights for me. Uh, again, the fight scenes were really good. We saw that with Zuko, and you know, again, oh, hats yeah. off to the actors pulling off these fight scenes. Uh, you touched on kind of the 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 ugliness of war so i don't yep. need to really go yeah. on that you kind of hit that. that 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 seemed like that was a pretty big you know yep. plot in this yeah one, and, and i mean and at the end i really liked how they showed zuko seeing appa but his first concern was to help his uncle mm -hmm. not chase after the avatar he's like that can wait there'll be another day for that 
And uh, yeah, I guess if there was any comedy, I was worried about poor Ang being uh, stuck in that cell with his hands in the rocks. What are, you know you're going to get an itch on your nose. You know that that's going to happen. <laughs> Go to the bathroom. Yeah. And Iroh, too. I mean, he's like this. Yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Up. <laughs> so again, uh, not, you know, the. This episode was good, but uh, oh, I, I gosh, I gotta talk about Boomy. I almost forgot Boomy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't love Boomy. Didn't love the the adaptation that they did. Um, and I get it was tough because his character in the cartoon was so crazy yeah. and outlandish, and the way he was drawn, you almost didn't have a chance to live up to the cartoon. But I, I, the the style, I just didn't. Yeah, I just didn't care for the way they they did the style of Boomy. I I agree with you, answer. I liked how they did the reveal at the end. Yeah, and I thought that would have been a little bit better, but I see why they did it because we talked about in the beginning. There's going to be deviations and things like mm-hmm. that. So uh, overall, a good episode. The only thing that held it back for me was Boomy. Hopefully, we'll see how that changes. And again, only four episode, uh, three episodes to go here coming up so it should be interesting yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna pretty much mirror mason quinn's uh sentiments i thought this uh, whole episode was really good but i struggled with boomy as well but i want to make it like wildly clear that this this was uh, had to be a struggle for the the people who produced this show and i said on a number of occasions when we were watching avatar that there was things that this show could do uh, being animated Mm-hmm. that gave it liberties that you may not necessarily be able to ha- have when doing, you know, a live action TV show. And I think Boomy was one of them. And, you know, we've discussed on multiple occasions uh, how dead on the casting seems to have been for this, right? The casting, the voices, and I, I can't say enough about how incredible a job I feel like they've done for this one. Which direction were they going to go for Boomy, given his given his character? And the issue that I have with Boomy, and again, my like I I know we're trying to stay away from spoilers. I've seen the mixed reviews. You know, I've seen oh, it's Netflix's number one until good old Jimmy and Love Is Blind, but that's a story for another time. <laughs> Drop a comment if you're watching that, by the way. Um, but in any regard, um, you know, it's number one, so you know yep. people were watching it, but. What do you do with Boomy? Do you have uh, a, a, an older gentleman, um, you know, who's in good shape or whatever? And we we know the actor here is, well, he's probably in his, uh, I don't know, he looks like he could be in his late 40s, maybe 50 years old. Um, you know, so. Oh, 83. Oh, 83. Yeah. So he's, he's, in his, he's in his 40s. Um, uh, very mature face. But so he's in his 40s, and you could tell that... It was just makeup on top of makeup on top yeah, of makeup. Yeah. And that is my gripe with this casting. And the other problem I had with this casting is I appreciate when they try to keep things as close to the original story as they could. The voice they used for Boomy works with an animated yeah. image yep. of Boomy, if that makes sense to anybody. His character animated, that voice works. It sounded like they tried to create that voice with an actual human who was wearing, and the, uh, look, the, the 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 makeup jobs and all of the prosthetics and stuff like that today are absolutely wild. But it, it's, it, I'll be honest, for as good as the effects are here, it felt a little like yeah, they had some close-ups on them. It and- felt a little meh, and I would have much rather they. I think had they just casted somebody who was very old, okay, and uh, just had them use their normal voice or maybe a little bit of a high-pitched voice or something like that, and not tried to match Boomy's voice from the show. I just needed the snort. Uh, yeah, right. Like what? Yeah. I, I don't. I don't understand that. Why not cast somebody who's and look, like I said, I have minimal gripes for the casting on this. And, and so far, I think it's been incredible. I just, um, I don't know. I, I didn't love the, the Boomy thing. I, I, don't, I don't understand why not cast somebody in their 70s or maybe 80s. And there's so many talented actors in their 80s. And I get maybe, okay, well, if we're going to have a bending scene where he's shirtless, how are we going to do that? And I guess I'd rather have a CGI body than, than just an overly prosthetic face. Yeah. 
Um, so it was it was pretty. Um, if I'm being honest, it was pretty distracting for me. <laughs> it kind of takes you out. Uh, it yeah, it just put, it just pulled me out of like this. Uh, you know, the the excitement that I have, it pulled me out of it a little bit. Um, you know, but of course, I, I thought the badger moles looked awesome. Yeah, the awesome. no, badger mole was pretty bad. The badger moles looked awesome. Um, I liked the uh, the way they developed the story um, with General Iro and his his captives. You know, the guys. You know, talking to General Iro, and and we knew from, of course, the animated series that General Iro had lost his son, Man. and he's sitting there talking about you. You know, you've never known loss, and. It's interesting that General Iroh didn't bring it up because sometimes in those situations you would say, well, I lost a son, and it's like, then it becomes like a tit for tat, almost yeah. like a challenge. And so he kind of knew that that gentleman was expressing his emotions and trying to mm -hmm. get out, you know, some of the, the anger that he held in about the loss for his brother. And General Iroh didn't want to be like, well, I, I you know, I lost a son. Um, yeah. But they showed, um, you know, they gave us a flashback to the, the funeral scene and, and, and showed us, you know, the, the same sort of impact that any father would have losing their son. So I, I thought it was a fun episode. I liked, I liked as Mason Quinn said, the dialogue between um, Sokka and Katara in the tunnels. I thought the hippie thing was fun. What are you yeah. guys doing here? Yeah. It's best acoustics in town, man. <laughs> we're just doing I, what we're I, doing. I, I, if you, I, I, I say hippie endearingly. <laughs> you know, it's yeah, like, right. like a good, I think hippie, I just think like, man, these people just, they just went to Woodstock and, <laughs> and just party not a care in the world just <laughs> hanging out listening to music smoking having weird sex you know like, <laughs> just, just so if you if you if you're like why is old say a hippie like that i mean i mean like they had a vibe you know oh yeah um but i thought that was cool the badger moles are like wow they did such a good job with the badger moles um the creatures that they're using to transport the carts and i guess that's almost what throws me off more about um, Boomy is that they did so, like Appa they did so good with yeah. Appa mm -hmm. and they did so good with these badger moles and it's like every single effect the bending and I mean we're getting more and more bending and they've just absolutely nailed the bending which yeah I mean you know it's, that, it's that, been, that's important <laughs> you're watching it and you're not thinking like okay well they you know like uh, okay it's okay like they're doing something that's completely fake and and let's let's not Let's not forget, not only are they doing CGI, but it's something that doesn't exist at all. Mm -hmm. So you have to conceptualize it and create it yeah. as well. You know, mm -hmm. it's not like, oh, we're going to CGI an explosion or, or this or that or that or this or green screen or, or some fantasy video. I mean, like you have to have like, like what would this look like yeah. if they were pulling? So conceptualizing all the bending as well. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, I, I didn't, at the end, the, the, at the end I had fun and look, and they, he, here's we'll the thing. Serve. I think maybe they, you know, and like I said, I don't want to harp on the boomy thing too much because it was like, it, it's, if there's any character, uh, you know, the, the one-eyed guy, I forget his name, oh. um, you know, that's uh, shooting lasers sparky, out of his sparky eyes. Boom boom. Yeah, sparky, 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 sparky boom boom. Yeah, sparky boom boom. <laughs> Um, I, I'm, I'm worried, like, okay, how are they going to do him? And there's a handful of characters that I, I wonder how they're going to take from animation and put it onto a live action and have it feel rough. And and, I, and this is one with me. It's like, you know what? We're going to give him a free pass on, on Boomy because that was going to be challenging. Yeah. Boomy was a, a character better suited, in my opinion, for uh, an animated series. But this was a lot of fun. Good development to the story. Oh, yeah. Um, answer Amazing. touched on. Um, you know, they changed the story a little bit. Obviously, like, look, obviously, we had how many, how many episodes in the first one? No, like, the first season. First like season. 20. Yeah, yeah, something something okay, like so 20-some 20 20 episodes. 20, yeah. You know, now we have double the length, and there's eight episodes, so figure 16 versus 20-some. So there's not. it's not going to be a one-for-one storyline. There's not enough time for it. Uh, I don't think, and if they're changing a few things in the interest of pushing the story along, um, uh, I'm. But it, but I will say this, and Mason Quinn has mentioned this: we did one watch through. Yeah, we're the not hardcore fans, so I am. There's Twenty I am, episodes. Yeah. I am not going to tell any Avatar fan like how you should be feeling about right. this. You know, I've yeah. we've watched movies and had stronger opinions. Yep. Like oh, just just this this. I'm strictly coming from. I watched it once. 
I'm enjoying this, but if there are fans who are upset about deviations from the original one, I understand it. Um, I would advise in those situations, when you really start getting upset about that, to try to do research, watch interviews um, or, or, or read articles when they talk with the creators and the producers, because I'm sure they touch on it. Well, and it's, sometimes, just more, it's just more content, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it's different, but it's more- Sometimes you're like, that. okay, why do they do that? And the creators, so you'll watch a video with a creator and they'll be like, you know, funny you bring that up yeah. because yeah. we had meetings about this and this is the direction we were going to go. We ended up having to go this way. Sometimes it's just, oh yeah, the uh, studio. Yeah, studio, the studio, put the screw, <laughs> studio put the screws to us on this one yeah. um but look for me i'm i'm still like 100 percent on the hype train for this show yeah. i'm having a lot of fun with oh, it yeah. again i'm casual so i don't get too worked up about uh, uh you know things and uh, aside yeah, the from, arrow on his hand yeah yeah yeah, yeah right. well, blue tape is still here yeah <laughs> it's coming back trust me but um yeah. I thought it was fun yeah. yeah this was another good episode as i saw it borrowed from like six different episodes which is what you got to do there's 20 episodes the first season only eight granted these are longer but you can't really do as much as you did with those 20 minute episodes for side well, quests. Uh, and the, and the one so this I, one was good for character and, development and i didn't yeah. see that they pulled that from six different episodes so thank you for bringing that up andrew the one thing that we have to also mention is that despite how good that first season was i think you have to give more from certain episodes than you did for the other seven yeah. different episodes. Yep. So it's not like okay, okay, we have Even eight episodes. Uh, this is the this is the yeah. amount of minutes the show ran. This yep. is the amount of minutes we have here, and so let's divvy it up a half an episode right. each one. It's not going to be like that. I'm sure no. there's episodes where it's going to be a, maybe a one to one ratio or not quite. And then there's some episodes like this where. Look, we took storylines. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm figuring eight is going to be pretty much all of part one and part two of the, you know, siege on. Yeah, because they did a ton right. of side quests on this uh, no, in, yeah. in the cartoon. So I think if they stick to the main uh, storyline, I think it'll probably be fun. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll be great. And so far, I'm having a lot of fun Absolutely. with it. I know you guys are. Absolutely. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying us, enjoying this with us. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals.